What's up, everybody? Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in. Look, y'all remember that guy I told y'all he needed some help? His help quit on him. Well, I decided to help the guy out. The guy called me yesterday. He said, hey, are y'all hiring? I said, no, sir, I'm not hiring, but I know who a guy that is. So I connected them to, and they supposed to start this morning. Now, I don't know if he vetted the guy or or vented the guy, whatever you call it. But I did. I said, do you have any experience in lawn care? This is what he said. Oh yeah, I cut grass before. See, I already know right there, you don't know what's going on. Because you can't, you're supposed to make your trimming blend in with my mowing. I said, well man, call this guy. Hey Gip, man, I appreciate that, man. We gonna start in the morning. That's what the guy said. Gip, I appreciate that. We're going to start in the morning. Now, I, hey, if you're, that, if you're desperate, then that's what it is. Now, people think, oh, man, cutting grass ain't nothing. Well, it depends on who you're cutting for. See, when you cut for Gibson's Lawn Service, I'm particular how I want my properties to look. I don't care if we done loaded up and about to pull off and I see two strings sticking up in the middle of that yard. I'm about to stop that truck, grab that trimmer, and knock them down. That's just me. That's how I want everything ran. Now, it has been, the heat index in South Mississippi has been over 100 the past few days. Today is supposed to, the heat index is supposed to jump up to 108. See, it's real humid down here in South Mississippi. When we have heat, it's stuffy. It's real hot. It's stuffy. It's not just, okay, it's hot. It's hot and it's like it's stuffy where it's hard to breathe. Like when it get cold down here, it's a wet cold. It's not a dry cold. So we have the humidity down here is hot. So the heat index today is supposed to be 108. I know my limits. Some people don't know their limit. When you work outside every day, like I've, I've been working outside every day for the past 14 years. So I know my limits. Look, when my heart starts beating fast and I'm hot, if I stand in one spot and my heart beats fast and I, I'm real hot, and then when I walk off, my body starts to cool a little bit, I know it's time to shut it down because I'm, I'm doing too much. I know when I'm doing too much. This guy about to walk in the street. Man, don't decide to, to off yourself on with me. Look. So I know when, to, see, when I pack lunch, I got a pickle in my lunch cooler, whatever I eat for lunch, plenty of water, plenty of power raid. See, I know to do that. This guy probably just show up with a bottle of water. And that's fine, I got plenty of drinks for you, but you need salt, buddy. You need to put the salt back in. And you are overdo it, trying to hurry up and get the yard done, and you overlooking stuff. Bro, we got a yard right after this one, so you might well take your time. So, and I reached out to the guy, I said, hey man, do you want to sell some of your properties? Now, I remember about two years ago, this guy was selling some of his properties. With it, like, if he was cutting the property for $60, he wanted to sell it for $120. Which I think is fair. If you got a $100 property, you want to sell it for $200, I think it's fair because you're getting your money back in the third. After the second cut, you done broke even. The third cut is profit. I understand that. So I know a guy that want to buy. He said, man, I was thinking about it, man. I remember you said that guy wanted to get rid of some properties. I can take on 10. I said, well, look, I don't know what his, I don't know what properties he's trying to get rid of. I said, but the way he done it a couple years back, if the property's $50, he gonna want a 1000 for 10. Oh man, I'm thinking more of like just paying him for one cut. I said, man, honestly, that ain't even worth it. He said, well, man, on my end, it makes sense. I said, bro, I will let my properties go to somebody else before I cheat myself and sell them to somebody else. You, look, you have to invest in yourself. I, I notice some people, they don't want to invest in themselves. I need some ice. Can the machine take a 20? Screw it, I use my, I'll use my card. So I know that some people don't want to invest in themselves, but you got to, it's the only way, man. Cause I, I think if I ain't mistaken, I had bought a property for him. 
I had bought a property from that guy maybe like a uh about two years ago it was a it was a fifty five dollar property he sold it to me for a hundred dollars and I may have cut that property about seven times and then I fired the guy that's when I knew then I said man I ain't buying no more property because don't nobody operate how I operate because he would he was he was charging fifty five for the property I knew I'd be at seventy five which is still fine I mean if you ain't got work you ain't got work and at that time I didn't have work so uh, yeah, but uh, I don't know what it, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what that guy want to do. That's why, and that's what I was telling them. Like, you gotta, you wanna get some good help, man. You got to pay. Like, right, bro, it's a hundred degrees out here. Ain't nobody gotta come out here and work, work for you to, to peanuts. up. And I, if I ain't mistaken, the way this guy do it, he pay a third of whatever the yard was. So if he cutting a $60 profit and let the guy get like $10 off that profit. I, I don't know. Play about an hour. I don't, I don't really think about that.